happy Monday motivation, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you keep washing your hands and keeping the 1.5 distancing. But please make sure you're not distancing your family, your friends, and especially your life group leaders. We love you guys so much. I want to encourage you guys um, about what I've been challenged and what God has been revealing over my life. One of the scriptures I've been reading is uh, Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 40. I've been reading the book of Mark, but this chapter has just stood out. And this chapter, I'm praying that God is just going to reveal something over your life. I'm not have so much time on my hands to read the whole chapter to you. But after this, please read it by yourself. One of the th um, While I was reading this, there's three key points that I want to encourage you. While um, I was reading this chapter, I was going to skim through it. There was two healings taking place. There was one healing. One lady was bleeding for 12 years and she heard that Jesus was coming to her town. There was a second healing that Jesus healed a, a little girl. She, was, she died and Jesus um, brought her back to life. And um, one, of the, one of the things so common between these two healings, they both had faith. This girl, uh, this lady had faith that she knew that she, if I only touched Jesus' hem of his, um, his garment, she'd be healed. And the second was Jairus, the priest of a synagogue of the town where the same lady was living. Um, if she, if Jesus like came to his house, the daughter will be healed. So they both had faith. And I want to encourage you guys, are we living our life in fear or are we living our life in faith? I really want to encourage you guys to... Take this time aside and just talk with God. Make sure Jesus is the center of your life. Make sure you devote this time to him. Because when I devoted my time to God, things just changed. He was revealing stuff out of my life that I didn't even know. I've been living in my life in fear um, for the past two weeks because something happened in my life. And I was really scared of um, one of my family members. And I had a choice to live my life in fear or am I, go or am I going to live my life in faith? And I really want to encourage you guys that when we take control and we, take, we let God take control of our life, he will just shift and mold something different. He will wipe away the fear and he'll bring joy and happiness. And I'm praying that over your life. When you read Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 40, you'll see revelation and you'll see miracles taking place. And you be might say, oh, well, Jesus did that, that before. He can't do it now. That's wrong. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So his miracles is new every morning. He can do things that you can't even possibly imagine. He loves you so much and he hears your prayers and he hears your war cry of victory and he loves you guys so much and one of the things that I really want to encourage you guys and I want you to take away from my message today is three key points is if you want to choose faith you have to choose your alliance you know I love about this um, scripture in Mark chapter 5 is Jesus chose his alliance he's chose only three alliances he chose his he chose Peter James and John he chose only three because he knew that they had faith. And I love about um, how he only allowed them three in walking alongside of him because Jesus knew that they're the only three that had faith. And my second point, to choose faith, you have to choose your actions. Are we choosing our actions to suit ourselves? Are we choosing our lives or are we letting God to role play our lives through us? You know, we need to make sure when we take up, take day by day, we're allowing God to intervene and shift and mold us to be a better person. Because if we let our own flesh invade what God is going to do, we are blocking God's blessing. We're blocking God's miracle. And one of, the, one of my last um, key points is to choose faith, we have to choose our agreement. We need to make sure we stop letting the voices of the world define who we are. We need to stop letting other people put in labels on ourselves and take the, take the labels off. You are not a sinner. You are not, you're not um, ugly. You are not, um, you know, you're, 
you are not worthy you you're not unworthy you are worthy you are precious and you are loved by the king of kings the lord of lords so don't let the enemy say that you are not because no weapon can come against us shall prosper and when we put on the full armor of god and let god take our take our um take our lives and take and walk with us we see that God is going to take us further and further. So I really want to encourage you guys to read Mark chapter 5 verse 21 to 40 because when I read it there were so many revelations coming out of there. Jairus was a man of faith. You know Jairus could have done so many things. He could have went home prepare you know a ceremony for his daughter because he just found out his daughter just died or he could have went home and comfort his wife and his kids or he could have done so many things but he kept on going he was so persistent in god in in god's word he said you know he had so much faith he walked with him you know one of the things i love about jesus was he walked into the room and he said why are you guys mourning why are you guys weeping why are you guys so sad this girl is not dead she's just sleeping jesus had so much faith and jesus is just telling you guys today where is your faith standing is your faith just you know oh i've seen jesus done that i don't think jesus can do that again jesus is the same yesterday today and forever and i hope you get blessed i hope you're blessed by this message stay strong stay persistent please choose faith over fear because jesus just wants a journey with you please make please make sure you reach out to your life group leaders we're here for you if you want any need anything please call out just shoot us a message i love you guys so much and i hope you have a good monday afternoon love you guys